Frogs by Gail Gibbons. It is springtime at a pond. A jelly-like cluster of eggs floats among the water weeds at the pond's surface. These eggs are the beginning of frogs. A breeze ripples the surface. The floating clump of eggs is called frog spawn. Frogs lay their eggs in water or wet places. Otherwise, the eggs could dry up and die. These eggs do not have shells. They are inside jelly-like coverings. As they float, the jelly lets the sun's warmth come through the eggs inside. Not all the eggs will survive. Most of the time, the large and slimy mass of eggs is too slippery and too big to be eaten. This is nature's way of protecting them. But some of the smaller clusters of eggs will be eaten by creatures living in or near the pond. The dark centers of the eggs slowly grow into frog embryos. The embryos grow until they look like small tadpoles. Tadpoles are frog babies. As they grow, they feed off their own egg yolk. The tadpoles grow until they are big enough to break free into the water. It can take from three days to three weeks for this to happen depending on what kind of frogs they will become. One by one, the tadpoles hatch from their eggs. They each have a head, tail, and body. The tadpoles wiggle their tails to swim. The tadpoles breathe by getting air from the water through feathery outside gills. As they swim, they eat very small plants that stick to larger water plants. These tiny plants are called algae. One week later, the tadpoles look different. They are bigger. Their gills begin to shrink. A flap of skin slowly grows over them. The tadpoles' mouths become hard with tiny teeth in their upper jaws. Now the tadpoles are one month old. Their outside gills have disappeared. New gills inside the tadpoles take oxygen from the water. Their tails are wider for stronger swimming. Something wonderful begins to happen. At the base of their tails, bulges appear. This is where their hind frog legs are growing. At two months old, the tadpoles dart about the pond as they eat. They are still vegetarians. Vegetarians only eat plant life. The tadpoles get bigger. Now they have hind legs. Behind their heads, bulges appear where their front legs are growing. Their tails become smaller. The tadpoles' gills inside their bodies are gone. They have grown lungs to use for breathing. Now and then, they wiggle to the surface to breathe in air. The tadpoles are about three months old. Again, they look different. They have front legs. Their tails are even smaller. They have shed their tadpole skin and lips. At last, they have the wide mouths of frogs. The tadpoles have become tiny frogs. They climb out of the pond and onto the land. Their tails will become smaller and smaller until they finally disappear. The tiny frogs begin to eat insects and worms. They aren't vegetarians anymore. Frogs are amphibians. The word amphibian comes from a Greek word that means two lives. An amphibian can live on land or in the water. Frogs are cold-blooded. That means their inside body temperatures are about the same as the outside temperature. During the next few weeks, the tiny frogs will grow to be mature frogs. Then they will be able to make their own frog spawn, and there will be new baby frogs. Frogs have many body parts. Frogs don't hunt for food. Their big eyes are on top of their heads so they can see all the way around. They stay very still. 
When something flies or crawls nearby, their long, sticky tongues dart out and catch it. They swallow their food whole. Frogs that swim use their powerful hind legs and webbed feet to push them through the water. Frogs have two sets of eyelids. One set is transparent, so they can see through them. When frogs dive, they close their eyelids to protect their eyes. On land, the frogs hop about. They use their very strong hind legs to leap. Most frogs can jump 10 times their body length. They are wonderful jumpers. Frogs have enemies. Foxes, snakes, rats, birds, and other creatures eat frogs when they can catch them. A sudden leap is a quick escape from danger. For protection, some frogs have skin glands that make them taste bad or make them poisonous. Sometimes their skin color hides them from enemies. This is called camouflage. Croak. Frogs make different sounds. Often, male frogs call their mates this way. They pull air into air sacs at their throats. The air sacs expand to look like bubbles. When frogs force the air out of their air sacs and into their lungs, the air passes over their vocal cords, which vibrate to make sound. They make different calls that mean different things. Sometimes frogs are very loud. Where it is cold in the winter, the frogs go to sleep. Sometimes they find sheltered hollows. Often frogs dig into the muddy bottom of the pond. All winter they sleep covered with mud. They stay completely motionless. This is called hibernation. In the springtime, when the sun begins to warm up the ground and the pond's water, the frogs come out of hibernation. They are healthy and hungry. People who know a lot about frogs are called herpetologists. They spend lots of time watching and waiting to learn more about these animals. Experts tell us there are more than 3,800 different kinds of frogs. Frogs play an important role in the balance of nature. They keep insects under control by eating so many of them. Also, frogs are food for other animals. Frogs are many different sizes, shapes, and colors. It is fun to learn about them. You can be a frog expert, too.